Has it been two weeks yet? Yes, it has. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Anthony here, SpecialtyMotorCars.net. And I know I said I was going to wait two weeks before I bought another car, and I did. And here it is. Just as the two-week marks are past, Papa Bear and I are out here hunting, though we have acquired something that I normally probably wouldn't buy, but my heart sank when I saw this car, and I really feel bad for it, and I feel like I had to step in and rescue it before this 1985 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome Coupe turned into a demolition derby car. <laughs> And here we are, trusty rusty with new air shocks, towing what Papa Bear is questioning as my next purchase. You would think two weeks out, I'd be like, let's go find the nicest Cadillac in the world. Well, we did, not really. <laughs> this is a very rare car though. And this car, it's a 1985 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome D Elegance. In a very unique color, I think it's I think it's medium blue fire mist. Uh, 1985 edition, which was been the last year for a Fleetwood Brome coupe. A D elegance, obviously top trimmed with the button tufted leather interior. But the color of this car is super unique. It's absolutely gorgeous, beautiful. And this car, oh, this poor, poor car guy that I just acquired this car for who put it up for sale um, acquired it from the original owner's estate and in just six months period it's gone downhill pretty quick it survived from 1985 being sold out of Ore Cadillac in Springfield we're out here in uh, the western part of the state uh, and it was sold new and lived and survived maybe not the mintest of shape but it survived and in six months it went to hell let me show you so this you can see here is the pretty side papa bear show us around the car if we yeah. st if we start on this side you can see it looks pretty good come on around this way okay we this got fill the normal normal got fillers you know that's not yeah. a big deal a little flappy you know adds for excitement but here's but, the hidden part well why don't you hide it so we don't get sticker shock here so we got a quarter that's got a little bit of surface rust poking out. Yeah, beautiful. Not bad. Papa Bear is covering up. Holy shit! Unfortunately, people aren't meant to drive cars that are old if they don't know how to operate cars that are old. And this poor last year offered very low production number 1985 Fleetwood Brome Coupe D Elegance. Got sideswiped, slightly ran off the road, and slightly beat up. And trashed, absolutely trashed inside. I mean, trash, trash. When I bought this car, the guy says I'll include everything inside the car with it. I said, oh great, lucky me. So, what are we gonna do, Papa Bear? Let's get this thing back. We can clean up, see if we can get the hubcap put on it. I don't know if it's worth me fixing this car, Obviously, I got a lot of projects going on, but it's fall, and this is demolition derby season up our way, the Halloween howler, all that good stuff. I would have felt awful if this car got in those Can't hands. Can't let it go. Can't, Can't let, it, let go. it go. As beat up as it might be on this side, it's still a very nice car, and it exists. It's got all the trim, and it's a really, actually, pretty clean car, aside from a few spots of surface rust. So, we're going to take it back to the shop, see what we can do to clean it up. And we'll see what we got after that. We'll make a decision on what we're going to do with this ill-fated 1985 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome. We made it back. So we're going to give this Cadillac a little bit of love and see how nice she can clean up with just a little bit of love. It's really too bad because I know this car was a really nice car not all that long ago. The paint on it, the original paint that's not smashed is in nice shape. It has a de-elegance interior that's a little trashy because someone just really didn't take care or appreciate this car for the last six months. But 
I do love the color. It's actually quite similar to the blue sedan that I have parked next to the building here. See if maybe we can straighten that out. I don't know. Probably not even worth the effort of that. Look at this. Can you believe this? Unbelievable. Just trash. Like, who does that? Let's get it cleaned up, Papa Bear. All right. Colored pencils, markers, arts and crafts. Did you say you're looking for colored pencils? Gee, wow. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. This is the M mobile art mobile. What is... Oh, my God. How does a car get like this? What oh, is this? Is this some crazy sex toy? What is this? Oh, it's a stapler. <laughs> Again, huh? That was a crazy uh, sex, a stapler. sex I saw that. toy. Yeah. That's probably a good stapler. Yeah. Fucking. Whoop boom! Whoop boom! Whoop boom! Other than the dirtiness, it actually runs pretty good. Think it's gonna start again? It's got a no charge light, but it's got a brand new alternator. Brand new battery. Brand new battery. Power antenna works slowly. And that comes with it at no extra charge. Does the seat work at all? Yeah, seat works. Both of them do. I feel like I'm sitting on the steering wheel. You must have drove this thing last. Oh yeah. It's weird. It's a D elegance. It doesn't have Twilight Sentinel. Holy crap. That's wicked strange. I've never seen that before. Base stereo. We'll get her cleaned up. Unused dog treats. Holy crap. Dog bowls. Dog food. Nice doggy bowls. You can have that dog bowl, Dad. Oh, Two of them matching his and hers. This should work well. All right, so we got the inside de-dogged, de-gross humanized. What else would you say? De-dog fur, de-dog fooded, de-dog everything. And I think it looks pretty good. Shampooed all the carpets, of course. Scraped all the poo off the <laughs> everything. Leather cleaned up nice. You can see the carpets over there. It actually smells better. Fix this trim on the seat here, back seat. Go around to this passenger side. Don't mind that. This side cleaned up nice. I don't think the carpets have ever been shampooed in this car. Again, back seat, everything is all hunky dory. So, let's wash the outside. Let's see what we can do about these hubcaps, see if we can get those cleaned up. Ooh. That didn't work out for me. Another hubcap, see what the chrome polish will do. White walls. I know it's really not that important, but is going to make this car look a whole lot better and give it the justice it deserves for it to find a new home. Uh, so let's get to wash it.
think I'm pretty much at my limit on this car of what I can do right now. I'm going to show you how good it looks, how it cleaned up, and let me know down in the or in the comments below uh, what you think I should do with this car. Just sell it off as is, tuck it away with all the other projects that usually never get done. Uh, but I would like to find somebody who maybe wants to take this car to the next level. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think, how it cleaned up. Let's take a look. Such a beautiful car. I love these Fleetwood Brougham coupes. And just with a little bit of effort, this car really cleaned up nicely. I mean, obviously, it's still not perfect, but given what it looked like yesterday, uh, she's definitely uh, a lot more uh, of a classy Cadillac than a uh, trashy Cadillac. Classy, not trashy, right? Interior cleaned up pretty nicely. Did all the shampooing. You know, it's got a little bit of surface rust on the bottom of the doors. Nothing really that bad. Inside the jams, still a little dirty, but, you know, minor wear on the driver's seat. It's missing a button here. You know, but all in all, it's not that bad. Uh, back seat looks pretty good. Clean that up as well. Headliner is coming down. Doors closed decently. Couple little chips, minor surface rust on the bottom of the fender there. Fillers. You know, like I said, I just fluffed this thing up to make it stand up just a little taller, a little prouder, even though she's been slightly ravaged. Dented fender, dented door, uh, quarter. Obviously, it's had uh, some repairs here once before. It looks like been painted you can see this paint line right on the pinstripe this is original but it's been painted from the bottom down and this surface rust a little flaky down the bottom here but the car surprisingly isn't like rusted out on the bottom you now the bumper shows pretty nicely a little bit of a blister starting over there Get inside actually i'll show you this quarter too a little bit of surface over there i don't know what's behind that chrome trim probably not all that pretty show you how good it runs Eighty-five thousand two hundred ninety-nine miles i haven't put any miles on this thing. Starts right up. 4.1 sounds good. It does have this no charge light. Um, it's got a brand new alternator in it and a brand new battery, new water pump. It's not gonna go far. It also has a power steering leak. You can kind of hear the pump whining out a little bit. It's low on fluid. Just through the gears. She actually runs out pretty good. Oh yeah. Hoopty cruising, baby. Hoopty cruising. This is quite nice actually. Rides pretty good. A little bouncy in the suspension. Brakes feel all right. Coming around dead man's curve right here. Let's see if we can. Oh, the gate's closed. This is gonna be interesting. Whoa, baby. Can I make it? I can smash that side, right? It's already smashed. Here we go. Let's open her up. All 4.1 liters of pure Cadillac power. Whoa, baby. Whoa. Yeah, she runs good. 
I'm actually really surprised. Shifts good. Smells better. Smells better. Like I said, I shampooed all the carpets and stuff. I'm really surprised this car doesn't have Twilight Sentinel. Cruise control inoperable. Back to the specialty group. Yeah, no power steering at slow speeds. Automatic door locks work. Runs really well. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below if you want to be the next savior of it. I don't know. She looks better. She needs a loving forever home. I might park it next to that limo of mine and uh, ponder on it a little bit. And there it is. My 1985 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome Coupe Rescue Mission. Uh, mission completed. Now I don't know what to do with the car. I have no idea. Let me know down in the comments what you think I should do with this thing. Uh, fix it, sell it, I don't know, I have no idea. Obviously I have a ton of projects going on, but uh, before I go, it's Sunday, go and hang out with the fam. Uh, I just wanna let you know, you see behind me my 1989 Buick Electra wagon. Uh, I'm gonna do a, <laughs> I hate to even say this, I bought that car for my 30th birthday. That was three years ago. So I'm gonna do a three year review on my ownership of that car and how much I love it uh, and what I don't like about it. Uh, now that my three-year anniversary is coming up, come October 10th is my birthday, and you'll see the video on that day, hopefully. Uh, I appreciate everybody for watching. We'll talk to you on the next one. Thanks again.